right. Maybe Hamlin put in Wooly to like redirect her attention from what's really going on. <clears throat> hello, hello. How we doing? How we doing? Oh, brother. Although I must say, ever since I started using this microphone, it is a little bit harder mixing like i'm constantly as i'm editing like tweaking up tweaking down tweaking up tweaking down but anyway who cares about that y'all know what we're here for today hey 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 And yes, I know it's Sunday. Listen, is Spooky Scary Sunday like what I'm known for now? Let's make no mistake. Spooky Scary Sunday is a subsidiary of Corey Kenshin, okay? This is that that Spooky Scary Sunday, Five Nights at Freddy's, all, all those, they're under the Corey Kenshin umbrella. <sighs> for the last time. What's up, dudes? going on, Corey Kenshin here, and welcome to Amanda the Adventurer. I plan to finish this game up. We already got the three main endings. Y'all was in the comments. Y'all let me know about some extra stuff. Plus, I already knew what time it was because we got one orange tape and there's five more slots for tapes. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then obviously you didn't watch part two. So bop, bing, boom, bam, bop. So the plan of today is to finish this game out once and for all. And Spooky Scary Sunday, I've got you guys this week. It won't be on Sunday, but it, it does need to return it's been it's been like four months so damn that's my bad um <clears throat> let's start with the first comment from benkit after the meat pie in 24 7 it has a sign that says sheet music the notes are f-a-c-a-d-e facade huh like this entire game has been a c a d -E. no all right we'll come back to that one core you need to take the flower pot with the 21 on it then grow it and give it to the doll y'all suckers be finding this out like what who would would even think to do that well y'all of course 21 on it this one uh well let's grow that and give it to the doll and see what happens uh, i just grew in my hand hey oh she does have a flower in her hair thank you that's my favorite flower I got a surprise for you, but you'll have to turn around. No. Oh, heck no. Nah. You just said that in a very creepy way. Uh, hello? Peekaboo. Oh, this? No, wait. <gasps> what? people 248 pay attention to the details something's about to happen oh what is she signing over doesn't she need like some you know parental um no nah, they just finessed her they just finessed her i don't know what she just signed she needed parental consent to do whatever she just did. What? They had a whole security dude outside the... Listen, do y'all know what's going on? Because I don't. The fact that they got a guard outside this room... Bad business. Oh, come on. That, that wasn't helpful, doll. Well, okay. Maybe it is, and I just don't know it yet. I mean, the way last episode ended, we, we still don't really know anything. We don't know what happened to Aunt Kane. We don't know why she even gave us these tapes to begin with. All we did find out was... I'm out there. 
somewhere. So Amanda's out there somewhere. So we got another comment from Scar that says, hey yo Corey, here's an ending you miss and how to get to it. During what's the family tape, you're supposed to use the little weather toy every time you get a weather warning. I'm gonna get to that tape, I'll see y'all in a second. Here's another thing I read in the comments. Yesterday, do y'all remember when, um, Do you know what the daddy is called? <laughs> Amanda says something like, what's the daddy called? And then, you know, I wrote my name, but y'all said if you write Sam, her actual dad's name, something else would happen. So once we get to that tape, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna try that too. Let's see what's going on with this. Hi friends, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Hey, Amanda. Bye. Wooly just made an animal sound. Right. He said bah because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? No. Oh, pause it, pause, pause it, pause. So, this was the tape. Right, right. The thunderstorm goes. Oh! Okay, okay, so we gotta, we gotta get the tornado one. Fun to spend time with animals. They look different and they, they don't talk like people. Amanda, I'm an animal and I- Animals <laughs> don't talk, silly. <laughs> look at these signs. Why does she violate him Let's like make this? Sound. Don't you know what a chicken looks like? I want to go look at the chickens. Oh, we never saw that one before. Great, let's go see those. Silly chicken! Alright. What a cute fib. Having a family is Why nice. did he do that? Like I see a mommy chicken and baby chicken. Uh-huh. And I see I see a daddy chicken. Daddy chicken. Look at the chickens. Alright, y'all ready? Do you know what the daddy is called? Her dad is called Sam. Wait, what did you say? Oh. How do you Oh Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. What? Can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Okay, I just got a achievement called Daddy Issues. And second off, what the freak is going on with this barn? Like, are you good? Like, is it just me or the eyes are red? He breathing kind of crazily. I don't know what the Daddy Issues thing unlocked, but nothing happened. Okay, let's go. He, Look he at really the nice there. sheep family. All the sheep are right where they belong. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, pause it, pause it. Blizzard warning. Oh. <gasps> what the freak? You know what? I think I missed... I missed the tornado one because... I think some of them only trigger if you get the answer wrong. In either case, we're gonna have to redo this tape anyway. I wanna watch this red tape. What's this? It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. What? Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. Oh. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget Rebecca. and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. Uh-oh. My kids are still really into that show, <laughs> but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. What? I mean, what is that? Yeah. That's what is not that, something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. Mm. Okay, Scott. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. Rebecca. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. Uh -huh. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. Whoa. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving, 
We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. They're her caretakers? For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Like Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, Bro. authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. What happened to him? We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. Oh, we ate him in a meat pie yesterday. Oh, <laughs> it's me, your friend, hey, Skip. Hey. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. Skip and chip. You got too much dip on your chip. Change the channel. If anything, I'm just getting more and more questions. Nothing is getting solved. So the dad disappeared. Actually, there was a few revelations. Her real name's Rebecca Colton. And do y'all see when I listen? Indie horror game of the year. They hired all these real life actors. This song look real, bro. Oh my goodness. So first, we need to redo the tape I just messed up. What's in the family? No, that's not what they're called. Try tornado. Okay, so to get the tornado to pop, you gotta get the first thing wrong. The tornado goes. Okay. All right, the next one. We gotta. You know what's crazy is I made them all pop before. Actually, so I can just rewatch my stuff. Okay, so the flood warning popped when I picked the wrong thing. The daddy is called. And then. Ew! I don't want to see those. They're scary. I don't want to go near. Flood warning. Got it. Hit this one. Then blizzards after this one. I was expecting the flood sound goes. No, the toy just broke and bopped me in the lip. Move. Everything rots. But wait, I thought there was a blizzard one. There is a blizzard one. Oh, we, I skipped something. I skipped the freaking blizzard one. Okay, whatever. We'll redo it. We'll redo it. What's this? Again, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Hey. What? What's that smell? What do you think is making that bad smell? Ew, you're right. Uh-huh, the sandwich. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? So why do they got me redoing this tape? Dead is the opposite of alive. Uh -huh. Good job. <laughs> When an animal dies, it rots too. It looks like that? this kitten is in big trouble. It might die before anyone can help it. Should we help the kitten? Uh, yeah. Uh, Wooly. Well, well. Oh, I have to click something. This is nightmare fuel, bro. What the freak? Yo, am I hanging? Nah, like, <laughs> and the crazy thing is, every time we get to the end of a tape, I always want to know what happens if you just say no. Let's get to the blizzard. So blizzard, you don't gotta hit. You don't gotta hit this for blizzard. No. Now I want to see what happens if you say no. Oh, you can't say no. We really don't have much time. Oh, they made me say yes. I'm not typing this. So the only thing that happens is. Yeah, this happens 
regardless. This is wild. What's your favorite kind of pie? Oh yeah, somebody said if you put like mutton or something. Mmm, <laughs> that sounds delicious. Today we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apple. All right, we're back in the tape with the music notes. Good job. Let's go to the store. Yeah, Let's pick store. out a card. Boom. Music notes right there. This is where you type in facade. A D. This is such a satisfying tune. It's like good job. You figured out what you need to do. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> this is a weird part, mm. man. Sam. I don't think it's their birthday. The card is for someone really cute. Gosh, I guess you really forgot. Oh, it makes you type it in. Oh, Willie, it's your birthday. All right, well. We did what we came here to do. We got a new color tape. Let's watch it. Sadie Ever. What? Welcome to Coffee Break. Hey. Today I'm talking oh, with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show. Amanda the Adventurer. And the I have flesh. to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I am going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. Mm. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. Facts, facts, facts. Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. Uh -huh. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. Uh -huh. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. Okay. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh. Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. Mm. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being <gasps> such a champion of the project. <gasps> I think she's my aunt. about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Uh -huh. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children Man, we forgot that his name our already? world like... is a magical place. That there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. Uh -huh. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with she's such gone, kindness though. and joy. She's the light of my life. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see they big hate things each other, happening bro. with Amanda this is the so Adventurer? <laughs> I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. <gasps> it feels like a dream, the idea right. of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. Mm. On our next coffee break, we got Corey arrangements Kenshin. for all oh, occasions. Oh. Featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Well, <clears throat> I have a hypothesis 
after hearing that because I had forgotten already in the last tape they said Hamlin did the animation the things the tapes that we watch right before these tapes it was a IRL show so Hamlin they did something they did something that's why they had her signing that's why it was a security guard outside the the um the room they put something in these tapes they did something Hamlin the company ding, 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 ding. yeah them suckers I just found another comment that says in the injury video when it says who can help us we supposed to type nobody I mean I'm sure all you other Amanda the adventure veterans have tried this but let me just see so it doesn't matter what you do wait can you do multiple fruit <gasps> Now that just changed the whole game up. That just changed the whole game up. If you could do multiple fruit, I know y'all haven't done all these permutations. And then we got another peach in here too. Wow. Okay, well, let's just get to the tape that I need. That's right, Lily hurt. Right here. You're probably right. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should it? we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Come on. That's that. Okay, so is there another tape? <gasps> there is. There is. Let's get it. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Pie, man. Pie, man. What? Pie, man. Bye, lamb. Bye, lamb. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. Oh, yeah. Sam, so, um, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? I don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. This no man, she's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Oh, Rebecca, no. come on out and we we'll We got the full story with that one. Well, except for what happened to Kate, but we got the full story. We got why Sam disappeared. Hamlin got rid of him. They got rid of him. They was like, he's in our way. We're trying to do these umbrella experiments. We need to train the system to hear her voice. Are you serious? Hamlin was behind everything. They're behind everything. So now that we got these five tapes, I think we just finished the game how we normally would, but, but something, something different, different happens. Director gonna tell the dad to go take a walk. You go take a walk. Matter of fact, we about to walk out of this project. No, that's probably what he said. Hanlon was like, no, nah, we gotta get him up out of here. I don't know how many of these apple pies I've baked, bro. But <laughs> I really don't wanna run through this again. Oh, so silly. Sometimes I feel myself rotting. <gasps> it feels far away. Amanda. Nothing is rotten here. For real? What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. Hamlin. Hamlin killed her. Hamlin killed her. She says, sometimes I can feel myself rotting. And you know what's crazy is, Wooly's always trying to, like, get her out of that. Maybe Hamlin put in Wooly to like redirect her attention from what's really going on. Yo, that I can feel myself rotting line. That's high key sad, dude. Like what? Hamlin, why? Like they took this, they took this little girl, took her from her dad, destroyed their family. I'm sorry, I'm Flabot. I love you too. Listen, I didn't want to do it. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Right. Can I share a secret with you? Amanda, or Rebecca, please share your secret with me. 
Are you sure? It's a big secret. Yeah, I think I already know what it is. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? Mm -hmm. I'm out there. Somewhere. <laughs> Why did I forget that was what happens next? Can I throw it at anything else? You throw the brick. <gasps> Who was that? We got this ending. And nothing else explained after that? Oh, that's whack. That's whack. And there's another tape. Why is there another tape slot here? Ulterior motive of Hamlin. I don't know. Indoctrinate kids. Kidnap kids. I don't know. Because when kids will watch it, what ha what will happen? They would disappear. And then the one tape, the orange tape. Next thing you know, the kid's gone. And then Amanda's on TV saying she loves mint chocolate chip. I, I still don't know. Like, did she get sucked into the TV? Did Amanda hear that? Like, I don't, I don't. I don't know. I just looked it up. Allegedly, there are only five endings, which we got all five. And I'm still sitting here dissatisfied. They brought in a whole person and then just cut it to black. Like what? What y'all trying to keep us in suspense for Amanda the Adventurer 2? Like, why is there one more slot here? Maybe it's something else. All right, guys. I want to do this tape again real quick. I don't have much time. Do you trust me? I wonder if you type no. Lily, ready for an adventure? You can't type anything. Amanda, you know you can't. Lily had an accident. When a friend has an accident, sometimes nobody, nobody can, help, can them, help them. But Got we it. can share. Why would he do this? Uh, I don't know, Amanda. It's all just pretend, isn't it, Lily? Amanda. Mm, it's all yeah. pretend, isn't it? Yeah, Wooly's kind of sus. I tricked you! We're going to use all three! Alright. <laughs> Let's help Amanda this time. I'm getting rowdy. I'll need a little help here. Help me! Please! So, who are you going to help? We're going to help Amanda this time. Let's get the patience of this and finish the operation. Hey! We never did that one. Well, it, I mean, it played out exactly the same, though. How many mushrooms? <gasps> Bro, there is a freaking part in that tape. How many? Oh, it was right after this. How many? <sighs> How many? <gasps> what the freak is that? What is that? You can't tell me this isn't important. I straight up did a Google search. I had to see if there was another tape here. I don't think there's a sixth tape yet. Maybe they'll add it or maybe they won't. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody talk about this. I don't know what this is, nor would I know where to employ this. I think we got all the endings. Here are my thoughts. I got a few different theories. Um, Let's lay out the main facts here. Amanda's real name is Rebecca Colton. She is the adopted daughter of Sam Colton. Sam made mention of our Aunt Kate on his channel, on, on the show, for helping, what do you say, for helping uh, show other people? She definitely signed over her life. She signed over her, her rights. They did it without the dad being there, on purpose. Uh, which tape was this one? It's been three weeks. Dad disappeared. Hamlin, they got him up out of there. I mean, I feel like that's pretty obvious, even though we don't have proof yet. This one. Let's talk about this tape for a second. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Bye, man. Bye, lamb. What do y'all think? What do y'all think that is? What do y'all think? they had her saying those lines for the director said oh it's because we got to train the voice recognition something something right what is this what is she reading just a few simple words 
Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice. Train technology's dynamic voice reaction. Sounds like a bunch of harkin jargon. Blah. Train the technology, blah, blah, blah. Listen, let's take him at face value. Let's say that's what that was doing. Because my first theory was Hamlin is creating some mind control software, some system that takes over the minds of kids. But what if it's even more than that? What if he was lying? when he said, oh, it's just a technology recognition. Let's say he was having Amanda say something demonic. Let's say he was having Amanda say something incantations, you know? Where, where's Zach, uh, uh, Zach Bacon? He knows all about that. They could have been having her say some, some crazy stuff. So there's that tape, right? And then what was this, what was this tape again? Right, it's a TV show. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. Hmm. Kate was showing the people the IRL version. This is before the animated version came out. So what happened was Hamlin, this faceless mystery company, saw that this show was a big hit, right? They approach the creator of the show, hey, we want to make like a animated version of your show. And, and obviously he's like, oh yeah, like that's going to make my show more popular and, you know, make more money for my family. Yeah. Why, why not? Meanwhile, Hamlin, which that name probably also even means something was thinking this is a great opportunity to reach a whole bunch of kids so that we can mind control them or whatever. These are all facts. These are all facts. This is this is not this isn't theory anymore. After they started working together, Sam disappears. All right, we find in tapes of Amanda uh, signing things without her dad being in the room, and then we get Amanda in the tape saying, "I feel myself rotting somewhere sometimes, but it's far away." For all we know, uh, you know, I kept asking what happened to Kate. Hamlin probably got Kate up out of here too. She probably was like. I've been telling all these kids about this show and now the kids are disappearing. This note, this note throws me off. Energy transfer would see sigils. Dynakinesis? Dynakinesis is energy manipulation. Man, I haven't been like this hyped and this invested in the lore of a game. I'll tell you the two games where the lore had me like, you know, beyond my recording of the game, I'm I'm still in my free time sitting here trying to think of of what's happening. Five Nights at Freddy's, Duck Season. Those are the only two other games that, like, lore-wise, I'm like, yo, I need to figure out what's happening. This is the third game. They did a superb job building this world, getting the IRL people acting like this. This this is this is fantastic. But I think we. Uh, there's nothing left to be done. I don't know who the person here that, that came into the house. I don't know what that means. So after you do all five tapes, someone breaks in after Amanda tells you her secret. Who is that? Who who do y'all think it could be down in the comments? It could be Kate. It could be Sam. We don't have confirmed bodies on anybody. We know it was, a, it was an adult, so it wasn't Rebecca. It could be somebody that works for Hamlin. It could be, I don't know. That's the finale of Amanda the Adventurer. Um, they're most definitely gonna make a sequel. I mean, I'm sure the sales gotta be going crazy. I know the game's going really crazy on YouTube, but that also doesn't always translate to actual game sales. I would hope so because it's a great game and I'm sure the more people that buy it, the more secrets that you know people will find there was that one thing that i think is a secret man it's like i almost don't want to end the video it's like i, I want to keep searching but there's nothing left man all i can say is this company right here we're gonna get to the bottom if they make a sequel for this game i want the sequel to be about taking this company down they probably killed amanda killed sam killed my aunt and then we just gotta end the first game with like no justice but who knows they could update the game it could be dlc for now, I'm gonna get up out of here. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this. Like I said, it's always a pleasure and honor to be able to play games for you guys, with you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to Samurai, slice that like button, subscribe today to join the Samurai. And until next time, my brothers and sisters.
far away. 